Welcome back, JC here, and this is how you connect the FreeSky XSR receiver to the SP Racing Mini flight controller. I'll be leaving links to my XSR, SP Racing Mini, and Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen and description below for other helpful, uh, helpful videos. So if we look at the SP Racing uh, flight controller, these are the input pins, opposite side of the USB, close to the switches. We look on the back side, we will see PPM, 5 volt ground, 5 volt R1 and T1. R1 and T1 are going to be the receive and transmit for UART number 1. The XSR receiver is capable of both SBUS and PPM. I will be showing you how to use SBUS, but I will also talk you through PPM should you want PPM. The difference, if you don't know, is PPM will only get 8 channels, where SBUS will get 16 channels. Not only that, but SBUS is faster than PPM. The only downside to SBUS is it uses a UART port where PPM uses the PPM pin. So the only time I would ever recommend PPM over SBUS is if you have a bunch of devices you are trying to connect and you need that extra UART. So if we look at the harness that comes with the XSR, uh, the white wire is the SBUS wire if you want to use SBUS. And that will go to... R1, which is the receive for UART number one. It is the next to the last pin. Then next to that is power, next to that is ground. If you want PPM, PPM is going to be this green wire that I cut off because I don't use PPM. But uh, if you want it, run that green wire to this pin that has PPM labeled next to it. And then you would run your power and ground the same way. Now for telemetry. Your uh, SBUS or telemetry wire, mine is green because I've replaced it, but yours is yellow, I believe, if I remember right. But either way, it's the wire right in the middle of all the wires. Run that middle wire. Well, first let me explain. Your telemetry also requires a UART port, specifically a transmit on a UART port. Uh, and I know we are using the receive for UART number one, and that leaves us the transmit pin right here, but UARTs can only do one thing at a time, and we are already using it for SBUS. So instead, we have to use a different UART. Over here, we have UART number three, and over here is UART number two. Uh, but I will be using UART number three. If we look on the back side, right on this edge, you in like really small letters you will see R3 meaning this pin is the receive and then T3 right here is the transmit. So I have my wire soldered to the transmit pin which is this pin here. For you guys that chose to use PPM instead of SBUS you can use uh, the transmit for UART number one which is this pin here uh, because you are not using UART number one for SBUS. So you would place your telemetry wire right here. So now with everything wired up, let's just plug in our receiver and plug in a USB port which will power the flight controller and receiver both. At this point, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to do that. Just look in my XSR or Trans playlist and you will find my video on how to do that. I've already bound mine, so once I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. I get the solid green light, meaning that it's properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the solid green light, you can move on. So now we will just go into beta flight. And first, let's go to ports. Because, and this is for SBUS guys, because we put the SBUS wire on UART number one, we would uh, first turn off the MSP or data. Because, like I said earlier, UARTs can only do one thing at a time. And then come over here and turn on Serial RX. Then, because we put the telemetry wire on UART number three, come over here to telemetry and turn on uh, Smart Port. I know it's a Free Sky receiver, but this is different types of telemetry, and the XSR uses Smart Port telemetry. So choose Smart Port and then Save and Reboot. For you guys that decided to use PPM, and you place your telemetry wire on UART number one instead of turning on Serial RX. Uh, once again, you would turn this off, but for telemetry, you would just turn on Smart Port. Or you can just use 
your telemetry on your number three and do exactly what we did it's it's the same thing uh, just you would not turn this on okay so saving and rebooting now let's go to configuration for the SBUS guys well first let me say for PPM guys you will just leave this on PPM and you don't have to touch this at all for the SBUS guys you will turn on RX serial because we are using SBUS then come down here and choose what type of serial which is SBUS then scroll down and SBUS and PPM guys both everyone wants to turn on telemetry then save and reboot now everything should be working so go to the receiver tab you can move your joysticks around roll pitch yaw and throttle should be moving on your screen if you have created any switches you can test them out now things are about to get real hybrid mode stunt mode active cheat mode active okay everything's working now in the Tyrannus you want to press menu to go to your model hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry scroll down and discover new sensors once it's found them all press enter again to stop discovery and that's it if you're getting all of these sensors you are now done with this video if you're only getting four sensors then I'll quickly explain your telemetry actually comes from two different places one is going to be the flight controller the other is going to be the receiver itself the receiver will always give you four sensors no matter what even if the smart port wire is not connected to anything at all so because you are getting those four sensors that means your telemetry is not working at all uh, the fix is you, you just nine times out of ten you just overlook something so go back recheck your wiring recheck your configuration in beta flight and clean flight make sure everything's saved because sometimes it doesn't save uh, and that's that's pretty much it. That is the, really the only cause. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, check out the links to those playlists for other good videos, and I will see you there.